Okay, this tutorial will uh, introduce you how to um, uh, unzip the file and then um, assemble the uh, special band in uh, Actius Pro so that uh, uh, we can use it for further processing. Okay, after you download the file, normally uh, the file is being saved in your downloads folder, right? So that's shown here. Um, I assume I assume you use uh, Windows 11. Windows 11 has its own uh, um, embedded unzipping software. So what you need to do, just right, right, right click on it and select extract all. And of course your file, uh, your file is saved in level three folder. And then you, you and mines will be uh, extracted to land, downloads folder. You also will be extracted to uh, lab, lab three folder. That's it. And click on ex extract. Right. So it may take um, a few seconds. Now you see that uh, I have all these files there, right? So uh, many files, many files. And uh, so the uh, layers we want to uh, pay attention to normally these tip files. Tip files, surface reflectance. So the these numbers are reflectance value, uh, reflectance value, and uh, there's band seven, band one, band two, and uh, and uh, so there's a tip file about quality, right? So there, so so there are so many different uh, um, uh, um, metadata or data or data about the image qualities, and also look at there is. Uh, uh, MTL file, um, yeah, Meta metadata file. So this is a very important file the uh, RTS will be using to assemble, will be using to assemble it, uh, the uh, different layers together. Okay, so that's what we want to know about it. And uh, uh, I will, next I will share the RTS uh, layer. Of course, of course, you will need to create your uh, lab three uh, project file first, right? Uh, lab three project file first. Now, what we'll do, we'll add the link to the uh, extracted folder, right? Extracted folder. So mine's in downloads, yours will be in lab three folder. Uh, find the folder, click OK, right? and see the files in the folder. Right? They all these files. Uh, the the it's very straightforward, right? Because this is a, 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 a mtl.txt file, right? This is mtl.txt file. Uh, it has icon of satellite, right? Just click and drag it, release it. It will ask you if you want to create stats, um, right? It may take some time to calculate the states, but the stats, but it will need to be performed uh, once for the, the data set. So it will speed up the data processing uh, later on. So in many cases, uh, we can click on yes, and uh, then it will work on it. And then it will, it will, it will work on it. Uh, all these files, all these files, um, those are the text file. Uh, this is more, more like a web page, uh, more well, like, like a web page. And uh, and uh, and because the information being uh, uh, contained in the MTL dot text file, uh, then the uh, uh, RTS software will use the the the, the, the information uh, to determine okay which tip file or how many tip files will be used to assemble uh, to assemble the um, layers. Uh, to, uh, to to assemble the layers to form a, a unique Landsat 8 uh, file. Okay, and uh, uh, so anyway, so if uh, sometimes you find it, it is too time consuming to calculate that stats, of course you can choose to skip that step. Uh, for my computer, I think it will take about uh, two, three minutes to finish the process. But for other computers, it may take longer. Uh, it may take longer time. 
Okay. And again, let's say, um, right. Now, this is the layer, this temporary file, temporary file. Okay. And, uh, and uh, so what we can see here, so they're showing as band one, band two, band three, right? Band one, band two. But remember for line cell eight, band one is coast blue, is the layer about uh, uh, atmospheric conditions. It's about aerosols in the air. So uh, this is not two color composite. Uh, for example, if we click on it, you see here, there are seven bands, right? There are seven bands. Uh, the band one, okay, band one is not so uh, uh, useful for us for now, right? So what we can do, what we can do, uh, we can uh, show uh, band four, because band four is the red band for line side eight, band three for green, right? And uh, the band two is for blue. Right, so that's the true color composite. And we see some, um, uh, high clouds mainly, some high clouds. And the clouds is easy, right? The clouds, the shadows, right? Clouds, shadows. And fortunately, the clouds covers very close to the marine, but not there yet. Uh, so that we get some good uh, good images. And again, so because as, as I showed you, so there, there's a lot of images from July 7th last year. It was very good. It, uh, you, can download, you can download that images too. That image too. And, uh, what we should do next? I right, say the next. Okay, next we should. Okay, add the. Remember, we I you got a chance to work on a, a, a line set five file for level one, right? We will want to uh, add that layer. Want to add that layer, uh, so picks, okay, so picks, and you you can find a, a similar layer in. The, Uh, no, uh, all right. So the contrast is not as high, right? Never noticed that. Um, yeah, so for one, uh, so the image was taken in September, so in, 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 in September, and uh, of course, um, of, of course, uh, the uh, pigment concentration, like chlorophyll concentration, is not as high as in the summer already. So contrast is not very very as high, but uh, which will still be uh, still be able to interpret interpret land features, right? Uh, interpret land features. Um, Okay, so what do we do next? Export, right? So this is just temporary. We want to export it. And we will not want to export all the images, uh, the whole the whole thing of image and save it there because it's super large. It's super large. What we'll do, uh, we'll just uh, save a clip of the image and uh, which uh, special extent is the same as that from uh, the one from level one, right? As for the roster, as for the roster, and uh, uh, what we can do, we can save it in lab, level three folder, uh, level three folder, okay, and uh, uh, save it in the geo database, right? So, in, so by default, it's saved in the level three geo database. Uh, that's what we can say so. Uh, zero line, zero line, so uh, 2023, right? For If you have downloaded the file from July, and then you say 0707, for example. Uh, so that's the uh, output format as TIFF, uh, UTM zones, uh, clipping geometry. Okay, we just click on the drop down list and select zoom picks, right? So just this area. And what else we want to change? And then click on export. Right. So that's a clipped one. And of course, a large portion of it uh, is um, um, 
a small portion of it has some types of cloud cover. Right? Now, if we go to catalog and then go to database and click on the triangle for the file, a refresh, where the refresh? Level three. Huh. Let me say geoprocessing. Let me do it again. Uh, okay, dot tiff. So that's a, a separate file, right? That's a separate file. Uh, what we can do, we can import. Uh, uh, should should use a different uh, a function now. Okay, different function now. And uh, and uh, so for now in in this tutorial, I will uh, skip it. I will skip skip that step. What I what I can do for next? Uh, Right, so now we can remove the temporary layer. Right, so make both uh, perhaps fourth color composite. Right, four, three, two, five, let me maybe five, four, three. Right, and uh, so picks uh, four, three, two. Okay, and uh, okay, then uh, we want to identify the change, right? So of course we can check on check, zoom in, check on check to identify changes. Uh, there are big changes. There are big changes. Uh, there are big changes. And if you're not sure what are they, of course, uh, change the base map to imagery. Right. If you know what it is, right. and then check it, right. check it. It's not there, All right? Okay, so I give you because you are supposed to identify uh, eight changes, right? So I give you some hints already. Uh, okay, so uncheck and check and the background image. That's one way for you to do it. Another way for you to do it, of course, is to go to. Uh, Raster layers, raster layers. You can change transparency there. Right, hundred percent. Right. That's the bind below. Fifty percent. Right. Right. Okay, so there's a lot of way. Right. A lot of way to, to, to swipe it. Right. Swipe it. Oh, okay. So these two layers uh, stepped. Uh, uh, or aligned very well, aligned very well. Right, aligned very well. No changes, no changes, right? Now even some of the lakes, right? Some lakes. Some change and and of course because the very variations in seasons and perhaps some sometimes because the impacts from uh, 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 uh a big precipitation events and then the special extent of some small lakes may may, may change right may change but uh, just tell 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 us what you observe uh, uh from these two images right from these two images okay so that's uh, the tutorial for uh, regarding how to assemble the images um, in or how to assemble layers in, into one single image in ArcGIS Pro. Uh, 